keep it secret, to different bills Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat You keep the medals cause the real ones coming up next Only scratch the surface, still they try to drag my name in dirt They try to bring me down, see me win, you ain't like me Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi. And today I have another special banger for you, all right? Today we are looking at a two-way inside the arc maestro. Like that is a very long, extremely rare name. And I gotta give a shout out to my man, It's Haynes, for sending me this build. Now, again, I've been saying this over and over again. You gotta follow my Discord. The link is in the description. Follow me in, on the Discord and you can be able to give me builds and I can shout you out on my channel. So again, make sure you do that. And furthermore, subscribe. I'm not trying to go crazy this year. So if you haven't done so, please just like the video and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get straight into this video. So what we're gonna do here is this, we're going point guard with this. Now I'm pretty sure you can go any position with this because it doesn't say anything to make it where it wouldn't be. So you might be able to make it a point guard, shooting guard or a small forward. Um, doesn't matter if you left or right handed. Of course, jersey number don't matter either, right? Um, here, what we're gonna do is this. Now, I did make some, I did tinker with this just a little bit, all right? So, we do wanna go 6'9 with this, all right? Um, and then get your weight all the way down to 185 pounds. So, where this build is gonna play, you just wanna try to go as um, light as you possibly can, and then max your wingspan all the way out. Same thing, shooting is already but gonna be but so high. So, go ahead and max your wingspan all the way out. Uh, body type, I just went to find, but you can go any route that you wanna go through with that. Um, now let's talk about this. So my close shot, I went to 85 on my close shot, right? I just wanted to get my fast twitch on gold. And then I went 87 on my um, driving layup, 55 on a driving dunk. So again, the beautiful thing about 2K22 this year is that you don't have to have a driving dunk. You can have a very good layup. And the reason why that's important this year is because a lot of great players in the league they aren't dunkers, but they can still finish at the basket really well. Kyrie Irving, obviously Trey Young, um, Steph Curry, these smaller guards that still get to the basket. And I think the past couple of 2Ks, you know, if you didn't dunk, you was going to get blocked and that type of stuff, or just you now just really, just really lopsided in that. But now you don't have to worry about that. So that's the beautiful thing. You can just go 55 and be perfectly safe. Uh, we're gonna go 35 on the standing dunk because that's actually gonna move when you move everything else. So we're gonna go 80 on the post control and that's because i want to get that post technician on hall of fame it's a good badge to potentially have okay then we're going to go 81 on the mid or mid range and the reason why um, i went 81 is because from 80 to 81 you get midi position and i feel like this bill is going to be doing a lot in the mid range um in the post and that type of deal so i went that route and then i went 76 on the uh, three-point shot um and then i went 80 on the free throw okay and then we're gonna go 88 on the pass accuracy right and then we're gonna go 87 so we're gonna max this all the way out on the ball handle and then 76 on the speed of ball so we actually pretty much max out ball handle and speed and you get 24 badge points there so this is actually a really good amount of badges in this aspect then on our defense we're gonna go 80 on the terror defense we're gonna go 88 on the perimeter defense our still will be 71 we're going to go ahead and go 74 on the block just 30 on the offensive rebound and then 70 on the defensive rebound that's going to give us 18 and then you want to go 83 on the speed you want to go 80 on the acceleration uh, 70 on the strength because you want to have some strength with this build since you're working in the post but you also wanna go 70 on your vert. You don't have, it's not like anything that you're trying to get here because you don't have a driving dunk, so it doesn't matter. And then of course, you're gonna have 90 on the stamina. So what you're looking at is 16, 19, 24, and 18. This is a really good bad stack. And again, like I said, since this build basically is a balanced build, you're not gonna get a lot of badges. So I spoke about this a lot. Most likely you wanna specialize in a certain area to get as many um, badge points as you can to get as many tier three badges. But we did find out that there is a quest that you do in my career where you get a plus four 
by basically becoming a starter. And then you also have some other um, badge, badge points that you get by hitting level 39 every season. So there's ways to really get this build better. And I think that's what's the dope thing about it. As the seasons go on, this build will be able to get better. So you keep that in mind. Um, here, so then what we're gonna do here is this. We have multiple takeovers. We have shot creator, we have um, playmaking, and we have lock, and then we also have post, okay? So there's a lot that you can do out of this. Let's say, for instance, you are just going to be some type of like using this build like a Magic Johnson type build. That's what's on the thumb, right? So kind of, even though you can dribble, you can still work in the post. And then you can get your secondary badge as an ankle breaker. So you can work in the post, right? Or you can break his ankles. Or you can have like the lockdown, extreme clamps, parameter badge drop, or the jump shot contest. That's what I like to run with. So you can go a different route like this, flip flop it. Or what or whatnot but regardless they're both really really good badges that um that you can work with every single category is pretty good same thing here you get team boost team takeover um team ratings boost so you can't go wrong with that a lot of good choices which it takes but then here you have it my nephews and nieces we have right magic johnson straight in the middle too man um and which i don't know if that really means anything but yeah the two-way inside the arc maestro all right so now what we're gonna do is this. We're gonna try to go over some badges a little bit. Um, again, like I said, this build um, is pretty balanced, so you're not gonna have a lot of stuff. And then again, there's so many different ways you can go about this. Um, so let's say, for instance, you wanna go that postman technician. Uh, I think that's gonna be a good one. Um, we got masher, dang, that's another good one. Let's get that. We got fearless finisher also. Let's just make that my, uh, um, what you call it? Uh, that would be my core badge. Aerial Wizards to catch live, so I don't really worry about that one. Um, let me see. We might have to go. See, that's another thing. Maybe Dream Shake. Let's go Dream Shake. All right, so that, that's with the fakes, and that will give us boom. All right, so now we're able to get that, but we can get the fast twitch. We can actually get that on silver, which I'm perfectly fine with. Maybe we can get our. If, mm, let's get Master down one. And then, ah, oh, we can't. All right, nah, let's do that. So then we'll just go ahead silver for our fast twitch, right? So this is not bad, all right? A build that's not meant to finish, but it can work in the post a little bit. Then on the shooting side, let's see. Um, again, this can do so much catch and shoot, but I'm thinking about this as a primary ball handler. So what I would do is I'll probably get corner specialist on, on bronze. Um, let me see. Oh, duh, mini magician, boom. Gotta get that Hall of Fame. Um, and then that would probably be what I would all need, but that's, I need three more points here. So let's just go, oh, guard up, guard up all day, guard up, boom. And then what I would, anything that I would do here would be dead eye, right? That would be dead eye. So, um, that's five points. And then I don't see anything else that I would be direly in need of having. So then, cause remember this build is meant to be like a post type score. So maybe get corner specialist up a point. Oh, oops, I just went back, went back. But yeah, I would've got corner specialist up a point and then I would've gotten um, guard up as high as I could. Playmaking, shoot, there's a lot to try to get out of this one. So definitely don't worry about mismatch expert because you're tall, so that's why it's obviously here. Um, but I would definitely still go um, ankle breaker. I'm there, I will go hyperdrive here. Um, let me see. Oh, quick first step. Got to get that. And then now for here, what I would probably do is, ooh, handles for days. Was that six points? Unpluckable, seven. So we'll go unpluckable as our um, killer combos, six. And then handles for days is six. And then what's clamp breaker? Seven. Mm. Let's go clamp breaker as our um, badge. And then I will go unpluckable silver and then killer combos nah let's go ahead for days because i think nah, let's go ahead mm, that's why you want it because killer combos would be a good one they did a good job putting here and then also you might want to get let's get hyperdrive let's put that down what's bell i need to get that's three points holy all right so let's go here bronze let's get the bell out we got to get bell out all right and then get the rest remaining there so we'll get silver ankle breakers like that all right defensively there's a lot here too again um this would probably be like a on ball type, maybe. I don't even know. Let's go clamps. Let's go chase down on bronze. Let's go challenger. Let's 
physical challenger. Boom. We definitely want to get rebound chaser. So let's get that as our uh, as our core badge. Um, I don't see anything else here that I would want. Um, maybe anchor on bronze just for kicks. And I just did it again. I, uh, I, I'm going to do that all the time, man. But um, as you can see, man, you can have fun with this. There's a lot of different badges you can work with. It's definitely not easy. So you got to definitely have your, you know, like your, your, your eggs lined up. But there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the two-way inside the Arc Maestro. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, subscribe to your channel. And as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi, I'll be back really, really soon with the banger, man. You know, when I say I'll be back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out.